am here. Hi. Um. Today's day at work went away. It went a certain way. Um. Also, I am noticing that my camera is acting up. So, one moment, please, while this, uh, while I, uh, put this on auto and, uh, hope that that fixes it. Okay. Um, I noticed that it was, like, doing weird color stuff. Tomba sounds funnier. <laughs> it reminds me of Potato, because Tom. But yeah, today's work day went, um, not great. Um, I'm very scared about my position in the company. Um, but you know, I'm going to pretend that that isn't a thing to worry about right now. And I'm just gonna play a video game instead for a little while. <laughs> that is the plan for today. For today. Tomorrow, I will figure out some other thing, but... <laughs> oh, also, I found out why my alerts weren't working for the donations for the charity. Um, turns out that if you do multiple uh, charity events using Tiltify through Stream Elements to do the alerts, Stream Elements has you select which campaign it's grabbing the alerts from. And so it was thinking that I was still on the previous campaign. Um, so it wasn't counting the donations given for the one we're currently on. Triangle what? Strategy. Triangle strategy. Don't you know? Hi, Star. <laughs> how are you, my dear? How how goes how goes your day? I, I hope your day has gone better than mine. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna start and keep going in the story because I'm really curious where it's gonna go and how this war is actually gonna get started. I'm good today. I'm glad. I'm really glad. That makes me happy to hear that you're doing good. Let's see. Any side stories? <coughs> We already did the side story for that. And I don't think there's anything else, so... Castle Wolf Wolfort, we go. I don't know why I'm looking up at my TV. I have it on my screen. I keep making this mistake. I keep looking up at my TV because it's like a better color resolution. But I have my screen like on my OBS. I can see it perfectly fine. Sound better minus the occasional cough. Oh no, I was I was dying when I got home. Um, I also think I like might be getting a little bit of a headache. So today's stream might not be too long. Um, but I did I, I just really felt like playing to try and distract myself from the workday. It's been real bad. So we're just vibing. Lord Seaman, head of House Wolfort, welcomes Frederica into his home both as his future daughter-in-law and a symbol of Glenbrook and Ace, Ace Frost's unity. <laughs> Distraction. Thank you, Star. You want to know a fun fact? Um, <coughs> there's Father, um. I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. There's a specific um, alert that happens when you give just one bit. There's a specific one. I made it. I made it to be specifically for one bit. <laughs> I hope it works, but <laughs> so far no one's done it. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's the stare is on way too long. 
<laughs> I need to adjust the time on that. But yeah, that's that's the that's the alert. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say truly. <coughs> we need one for 39, 311, 420, and other meme numbers. We do. We need one for thir for 39. All right, settings. Uh, cheer. Variation settings. Bit one. Alert duration. Five seconds. Save a variation. There. <laughs> Actually, yeah. X, Y311. 314, maybe I understand because that's the home stuff oh, number. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. Oh, amber is the color of your energy. Wait, where's that from, X? Where's that from? I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my girl. Oh good, at least he's a good guy. At least our, our dad's a good guy. It's a meme with the reggae ska community. 311's uh, song Amber is one of their famous hits. It's a fun low-key meme I like. Hmm, okay. I don't really know. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. I get tonight. it. I understand. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Dads? Being good? Couldn't be mine. <laughs> oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. Uh, and yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. Star, this is totally, like, unrelated. But I had a dream about you the other day. Um... In, in the dream, it was basically, like, um, like, me going to go visit you in New York, <laughs> but my flight got delayed. <laughs> I was really worried and I was crying. <laughs> Gonna take a belated B-Day shot with my mom. Enjoy, Star. And say happy birthday to your mama. Tell them I love them, even though they don't know me. <laughs> I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. <laughs> Ushi gushi stratasi, I am about to take me a looky. <laughs> also, hi. Hi, Luna. Hi, dear. Thank you for subbing for seven months. I love you. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, my cough is still really bad. Um, I love you so fucking much. Seriously, I love you. Jojo! I love you too! <coughs> I'm excited to be playing <coughs> this too! God, fuck, ow! Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So far, you know, like, Jojo, I'm, I'm not that far into it. 
so far, here are, here are my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. I like the art style a lot. I wish that instead of it being text bubbles above their little sprites, I wish it was the text bubbles and their character art. Because their character art is gorgeous, but they don't use it enough in the game. So I really wish they did that. <coughs> um, my other gripe is the voice acting so far is very, like, chill. So, like, sometimes the text bubbles are, like, huge, jagged, exclamation points. And then the voice acting is like, you're so right. It's, it's like, very downplayed. Um, so, so far, I'm not impressed by the voice acting. So far. Now, I, I don't want to, like, you know, give give it too much crap because I'm so early into the story. But those are my thoughts so far. Um, the UI, there are some things I would change. Um, like the, the range indicators I wish were a little bit better. I wish it showed the range of all the enemies instead of just like the blue and purple squares. Um, <coughs> and um, mechanics wise, I like what they're doing already because they're giving us um, a lot of variety in um, tools to use with units. <coughs> like the fact that we're already being introduced to a character that can do two actions during their turn is groundbreaking to me because that's something that showed up in Fire Emblem way <coughs> way later in the story because it's a powerful ability you can really mess with the action economy by doing that so <coughs> i think that's interesting that um that they did that <coughs> oh you're getting close to Shin Megami tensei 4 endgame Ooh, that's exciting and the voice acting gets better good I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that because that's that's the part that I've been really like harping on. I've been making fun of it a little bit. Yes, father. That and all the really weird convoluted names. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenn <coughs> and S. Frost that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. to give us more leverage against Taizan with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and Esfros consolidating their power, Taizan was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. Mm, okay, I see. So they forced Taizan to, like, chill out by being like, yo, you're being outvoted. <laughs> and yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time, she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. Oh, interesting. Motherfuckers are gatekeeping salt. Yeah, salt and iron. They literally had a war about it called the Salt Iron War. And that, that was the previous war. So that's interesting. Um, she's the Archduke's sister. Um, but I guess she's like the bastard daughter. Because she was born by the, um, by a concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. That, that does make sense. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? Um... Why? So Tell me, Father. If relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Mm. So this was like an experiment to see how it went instead of a permanent, Precisely. like... Such are the giving your big pieces away. I understand now. And yet, 
no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfport name. You know, the main uh, well character said, is an son. honorable guy. If that is your decision, then... Oh. No. Oh. Father! Father? Lord Simone. Hey, remember how I was griping about the names? Why Simon? Why why Simon? Why not Simon? <laughs> it sounds way too close to Simon. I'm an old man, and my health is not what it once was. <coughs> For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day. I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolfort. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. We just got promoted. <laughs> but father, I am not ready to... My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me with your words and your deeds that you are more than ready. I have X. I've I've been using the the Vix um, vapor rub um like every night. It's helped minimally. Um, I just took some um Vix cough medicine um with honey and uh yeah. Oh, you were talking about Simon, C Simon. I'm gonna fucking call him Simon, because I, I don't... El Vaporub? El Vaporub? Your health is improving because of that? Uh, I don't know. I just- I want this cough to go away. I really, really do. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so. And I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Yeah, like... Luna, you're so right. It... El Vaporub <laughs> does, does smell really good. Um, <coughs> yeah, like, it, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I just feel like it's very downplayed. Maybe it's because it came from Persona, and Persona was a very, like, bombastic voice acting experience. Maybe that's why I'm harking on it so much. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. Because it's nice. I think they have a really good accent. You as pawns in their own scheme. And it's very clear. Like, they, they pronunciate their words very clearly. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all, as his wife. But also, as your own person. This is House Wolfork's entreaty, and the wish of a father. Persona went super hard with that direction. Yeah, I, it, I'm, I'm chalking it up to that. That might be it. Because this, objectively, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just very downplayed compared to what we just finished playing. Um, I just have to get my head into a different style of game. Um, with a, a different artistic direction. Also, can we talk about, like, this father figure actually being a good guy for a second? Because, like... He's he's talking real shit. He's talking real shit. <laughs> it's it's good to see. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Hey, Daiku, thank you for paying your milk tax. <coughs> I appreciate you. I hope you're having a good night. Also, Daiku, beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Dragan and Minister Lila have arrived. Congrats on your thing. I don't know if um if 
it's okay to announce or if you're like keeping it to yourself for now. Um, but congrats again. Uh, the taxes milftastic. I'm gay. Me too. <laughs> oh, bye. I'm bye. Damn. Bye. Eh, kind of same. I want to stay up later, but already tired. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I feel that. I feel that. It. I'm. It's gonna be a, a, a bit of a short stream today. Um. Because I, I, I feel a headache, like, coming. It's, like, right here. Right in this spot. Holding off on Monday to announce to the greater world. Got it. Gotcha. Yes, Star, it is Luna. It's Luna being their wonderful self. Just for full, full confirmation. Understood. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Oh no. Is this what's gonna start the war? I'm I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. <coughs> Cause this story has to go somewhere, right? Like it, the war has to start through some manner. And you know, this banquet, this tourney, sounds like the perfect opportunity for something to go terribly, terribly wrong. Um and I don't want to say this is a trope, um, but it's a little bit of a trope that, like, you have a good father figure and they just die. Um, <laughs> cough, cough, other games that I'm not going to mention because spoilers. <coughs> right? X, no salt at the banquet, imagine. Just unseasoned food. <laughs> that, that's a good reason to cause a war. Ah uh, yes, me and me and my spices. <laughs> Tomorrow ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. <laughs> oh, love and support. You're all amazing, so I support. I love you so much, Luna. I really missed you. Aw, X. <laughs> And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. Indeed, we have a whole game to do. <laughs> Happy Pride, babes. I need a I need to get one of those like Pride fans. Save your game? Yes. <coughs> Ow. Speaking of pride, we are raising funds for the Trevor Project all month. Just to put that out 30 there. 30 years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. Ooh. United at last in common cause, the Kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the Earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. Enjoy your food, Axe. We will be here for some time yet. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. Hi Harlan, indeed the triangle strategy see. <laughs> we learned that our father is a really good guy. Imagine in my when RPG Glenbrook, game. Dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. The first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father, Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. 
father a good guy impossible it's possible apparently the the dad figure was spitting some real shit like no no cap it was it was actually pretty good uh dialogue to arms brave warriors oh things are gonna happen and i don't know what kind of nervous about it welcome to castle wolford minister lila allow me to express my gratitude to the holy state were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. Why does it sound like elevator music, though? <laughs> you are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. Right? It's very elevator core. <laughs> um, anytime I think about elevator music, I'm always reminded of that one elevator stuck song from Homestuck. And it just plays in my brain. Every time. And this is your son? As I recall. Sarah Noah Wolford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica S. Frost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolford in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. Oh, we get to make our first impressions. No, Benedict has not made an appearance yet, though he has been mentioned. He has been mentioned. Also, Harlan, how's your day going? I hope your day's going well. Or I, I guess night, because you're um Esfrost you're in a different time zone. Also be in attendance. So it might actually be either super super late night or like very early morning for you right now. Indeed, he has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Orzalian Mines. I understand his star in S Frost has seen a meteoric rise. Hmm. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. Dynamite? As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? It's 3.30 a.m., but it's gone good. Got my shopping, dropped an egg. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry you dropped your egg, but I'm glad that otherwise it was a good day. Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. Put him. <laughs> nice, Harlan. <laughs> The crack of the yoke. <laughs> the banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Uh, the cough is about the same. I I think maybe a little bit better than yesterday, but it's it's still pervasive. It it won't go away. Um, I'm drinking lots of water though, and I I took some um some cough medicine. <coughs> so you know, hopefully, it won't be too bad. But it is still here, unfortunately. Very good. 
Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father. Don't offend people. Got it. Learn about their customs. Oh, hey, it's Benedict. He was standing behind us. He just didn't talk. Lord Dragon could be anywhere. I suppose this is a good opportunity as any to speak with the common folk. The flow of the game comprises of multiple phases. In addition to story scenes and battles, there will also be an exploration phase. <coughs> In this phase, you can move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms and terrain features that may serve you in battle, and more. <coughs> okay, the left stick is run and walk, hold B or R to dash. To end exploration phase and continue with the story, press the plus button. I've been tasked with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous occasion for all. I'm eager to hear your speech, and even more eager to see you triumph at the tourney. Since you may have some questions regarding this joint mining venture, allow me to enlighten you. Combining the expertise and manpower of Norzelia's three nations, this mine will unearth the newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will prove beneficial for all parties, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragon's knowledge of ironworking is peerless. I could think of none more suited to oversee the mine's development. Okay, so Dragon is the one that's overseeing. I heard tell Prince Roland is shirking his duties at the castle once again. Thank heavens that shiftless child isn't in line for the crown. Wow, you guys really don't think highly of, uh, of Roland, huh? Hi, Roran! I know you can't hear me, but hi! See the peace we enjoy now, one would never think uh, that but 30 years ago our realm was engulfed in war. The Salt Iron War seems not but a far off nightmare now. Oh, shiny! I got an HP recovery pellet! I need to keep an eye out for, for the shiny things. Ooh! Look, the water effects? The, the water? That, that's neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, it's Anna! Thank you for looking, Roran. I know you can't hear me, but thank you. By your request, Benedict and I shall take part in the tourney. May we bring victory to House Wolfort. Oh, so that's when I'm going to be able to control you during the tourney, okay. Hey, kid. Greetings, my lord. My friends and I are playing hide and seek. <laughs> Can I eat your soup? Added Marvels of Norzelia, Volume 8, to notes. <coughs> You'll find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they will help you better understand Norzelia and its history. View the notes you've collected at any time by selecting War Chronicle Notes from the main menu. Okay, what did we pick up? Up the Norzelia River and past a handful of craggy mountains lies the Asfrosty capital. Despite the blizzards oft swirling about it, the city itself is orderly and well-maintained, and the people who dwell there spirited and undaunted. 
By working together, they have managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm. It is this fortitude that has allowed Ice Frost to grow into a nation to be reckoned with. Ace Frost's iron stone was carved out of a rocky mountainside, which is unusual, but fitting for a land with countless iron mines within its borders. It functions as both a castle and an iron factory. So, Ace Frost is kind of like the dwarves, I think. Skilled artisans in the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle, where they mass-produce ironworks and engage in technological research. Thanks to an enormous forge, as large and as hot as the mouth of a volcano within the castle, they are able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for Ice Frost, Pride and Joy, the Black Irons. Upon the castle's ramparts is arguably the crowning achievement of as frosty ironworking, a gigantic bell. Larger than the largest dragon. I cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast. Each day, the bell tolls the time for the people of the capital. It is so loud it can be heard all throughout the mountains, and has even been known to trigger avalanches on distant slopes. Huh. Interesting. So we found out some, some culture stuff. <coughs> some lore. Wow, we're really just uh, finding a lot of items. And money. We're literally- we're stealing from people. I wonder if this has any repercussions. This town is prosperous and its people have faith in their lord. An impressive achievement by my experience. You are too kind, Lord Dragon. Ah, my apologies, but you are? The apology should be mine. I'm Serenoa Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course. I appreciate the consideration. I would like to explore the town a while longer, but rest assured I shall be punctual in my arrival. Yeah, you'll need them. Oh, no. <laughs> I was when you want zero backseating. Yeah, like, for the most part, um, Jojo, um, if I want help, I will ask for it. Um, I will definitely use my safe word. That is my safe word. <laughs> um, I think this is also the... Yeah. I, I do have a tendency of saying things out loud. Um, I will ask you guys directly if I want help with something. <coughs> but a big part of the fun of stuff like this, especially with strategy RPGs, is finding out stuff your own. <coughs> ah. I must make ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simon will spark inspiration. A lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in a wide-eyed manner. I can scarce remember the last time Glenbrook has was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory? Which will be known as the fiercest in all Norzelia? I mean to be there when history is made. Right. Keep bunch moving. Eridor! I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. Alright, Travis and Trish. I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. The most esteemed personages from each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of politics. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peers must not be wasted, my lord. Hello? 
I did not even see that shine. I just saw the prompt come up to examine. I was like, oh, there's something there. Oh, you went in there. So there's you and you. <coughs> oh, I see a shiny up in the top left. There's been nothing amiss, my lord. Another quiet day. Wait, did I already go in here? Cat! <gasps> yes. Beautiful. Oh, I like that the herbs are swaying in the wind. That's a nice touch. But there's like no window, so it kind of looks a little weird. Alright, I already talked with you. Let's talk with you first. My husband works from dawn till dusk at the port. Lifting crates and who knows what else. It's honest work though, and the backbone of our livelihoods besides. We're playing hide and seek till dad comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Oh, we, we get to choose where this child hides? Take care not to hurt yourself or father when I want anything bad happening. you. One of my favorite games. Barrels were always my favorite places to hide. It takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. <laughs> Let the kids play. Hide in a barrel. Barrels, I would have never thought of that, my lord. They'll never find me now! I speak from experience, they won't. However, they may be even better hiding places to be found around town. You're right, my lord. I'll find a hiding place no one's ever thought of before. I, I think we just caused this child to get lost. If there If there is a manhunt for a child that's lost, it's our fault. <laughs> Hi, Chimera! How are you? There is no rest for a young lordling. All eyes will be upon you in the coming days. Frederica and I shall make every effort to learn the lay of the land so that we might share the weight of your duties. It's just like him to gallivant off with nary a word of farewell. Still, I suppose this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Serenoa? Hmm. To know a town, you must take time to relish her company. That's what Eridor told me, in perhaps more colorful words. It is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at the expense of fair trade. Wolfort is nestled safely behind the castle walls. It is a town at peace and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. Hmm. I, I think either the first or the third. <coughs> I, I don't like this. I don't I don't like the mention of like taxes and things. I know, Harlan. I think I've missed I think I chose <laughs> um a way to misplace a child. <laughs> we'll say it's a town at peace. And the people are thankful for their lord for that, I'm sure. There are always threats to the peace, however, as your encounter with the bandits proved. Of course, simply ensuring the smallest amount of safety must be a daunting task in itself. You have given me much to consider. Because um, I think I saw another... Did I not see another shiny over here? I thought I did. Alright, um... I think that's everybody. I think we, we checked... Um, we checked in with everybody. The banquet will begin soon. Lord Dragon and I had best not arrive late. At the banquet. Woo. Fancy party time. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. 
think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I'm still waiting for the other I shoe to drop. skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? Oh, starting some shit? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Serenoa? Oh? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. Oh, I see, I understand. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. Y'all worship salt. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental worship. beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for your milk tax as well. I hope your day's going well. How you doing? Is how they argued in the old days? Pretty much. Just very backhanded. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Serenoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Yeah, it it is a very passive aggressive way to argue. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. Very well said. No matter how well mighty said. the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Well said, my lord! Well said. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. Now I got to talk to my new therapist. He's whatever. I will give him some time. Okay, so this this is a a, a different one than the one um, we talked about last time. Um, yeah, I I hope that you know you guys grow closer together and are able to mesh better. It's very important. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. Imagine, like, food without salt. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. Good. Good. Hyrule! Hi! Thank you for paying your mill of taxes. 
I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, I just, uh, my cough is still pretty bad. <coughs> but I think it's better than yesterday. How, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Previous one was the lady that uh, looked and sounded like you. Oh, okay, okay. Because I think you you were here yesterday, um, Zep, and you said um, that your your first meeting with the the new therapist didn't go well. So is this the, the same guy that you were talking about then? Wait, Harlan, really? You rarely eat food with salt? Couldn't be me. I put salt on like almost everything I cook. Except, like, breads. Um, like sandwiches and stuff. I don't put salt on sandwiches. You agree with me, then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. A guy botched our first meeting, so this was our first real session. I see. Okay. So yesterday was the meeting, and today was the session. Okay. Well, I'm glad. <coughs> it sounds like the session went better than the meeting. Give it, give it some time. And give it, like, two or three sessions, maybe. Yeah, it's too much. I was raised on, like, low-salt things. Same with sugar. I don't like them. Uh, I'm not really a sauce person. I'm quite fussy. Aw. <laughs> Everyone has different tastes. It's it's cool. It's cool. Alright. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed. We must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, father. All right. We got more side story over here. <coughs> the children of the crown speak to their of their father, King Regna. Harlan, what's your favorite food? I'm curious. Father spoke not a single word to me today. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Your name is Cordelia? Wasn't that the name of one of the main characters in Octopath Traveler? I could, I could swear that it is. Hold on. Yeah, Cordelia is is one of the characters. I don't think I don't think she's one of the one of the main characters though. Ophelia is one of the main characters, but Cordelia is a character that exists in Octopath. <laughs> Zep, it's almost like we're playing an RPG. <laughs> it's almost like we're playing a role-playing game. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of story. But we're also at, like, the beginning of it, so there's going to be Please, a lot sister, of, um, weep and wail like a common girl. story Show to, like, composure. set stuff up. A loaded question. Depends what category of food. Hmm. Okay. Let me put it this way, then. You have, like, a special night. You want to celebrate something. What is the type of food that you would want to celebrate a thing? Father has a kingdom to rule. A kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... Yes. Of course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. 
He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patria. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. Wow. Franny? I already do not like Franny. The hell they are. Fish fingers and custard with bird, bird's eye chicken nuggies. Mmm, that sounds yummy. That does sound really yummy. That sounds like like good comfort food. I can respect that. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. Harlan, did you just say beans pasta? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like... Baked beans? In pasta? <laughs> is... <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> I'm not laughing, I'm coughing. I'm struggling. <clears throat> I have never heard of that. I've also never tried it. She's sorry, I'm coughing. I'm sorry. Um, that is an interesting com uh, combination. <laughs> I've literally never heard of that. <coughs> what? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedience enough for now, but... That can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Yeah. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You yes. are not fit to wear the royal signet. Hey, fuck you. Oh, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Hmm. Brother! Interesting. What I learned from that interaction is... Franny is a fucking bitch. I don't like them. I yield. Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolfhort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Saranoa is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. Sir Maxwell, I... Those are good words to hear coming from a teacher. Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Well, shit! All right, Roland! Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. 
Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It was Taco Baco night. Mmm, tacos. I do love me some tacos. I'm surprised you didn't get Smoothie King since it's Friday. It cannot be easy <coughs> being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. So, X, what you missed is that Roland's brother, Franny, is a fucking bitch. I hate them. Um, Roland's sister, um, Cordelia, is a fucking pansy. And Roland, um, is really fucking cool. And I like his character already. They changed the Friday deal. I saw it's not as good. It's not as good anymore. It's like a dollar off instead. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Ah. All right. Any other thingamajigs? All right. Let's go. <coughs> the banquet ends without incident and everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Dragon, however, has something on his mind. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. My mans, are you drunk right now? You are too kind, Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? You are most definitely drunk. I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. Uh, you are my betrothed, after all. I would hope that I... we like each other. Thank you, my lord. Or at least grow to like each other. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. A, a perfect match. Okay, Dragon is single-handedly improving the voice acting what in this game. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? <coughs> oh, the silence. Her life? Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is. I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. Hell yeah! And yeah! And so I did my due research at the archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward! <laughs> okay, okay, Take Dragon. Care, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. <laughs> you can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations, brought by traders from the realm over. <laughs> Harley, I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Each cast more <coughs> exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, to not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. This man 
<laughs> Just okay. make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting but point of view, what actually. What you, my kin, to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? The first steps towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. It will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong with that. It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Um, I don't really want to say that because that means that I, I think people are distrustful or not worthy of trust. Um, <coughs> I think the first one. I think the first one. It is the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. I see. I admire your optimism, even if I cannot say I share it. I know that old grudges die hard. Still, I choose to believe we can overcome our differences. <laughs> Truly. A kind-hearted soul you are. And people are ever eager to follow a kind heart over a wicked one. Mm, yes, I suspect it shall be your strength going forward. A. Hey. We have a kind heart! In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement! Because of your invention, yeah. As probably. always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Hey, yo, that's a good line. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. I can think of a lot of instances where that applies. Aw, X. <laughs> Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be writ large for all to see. This man, this man has something to prove. This man has something to prove. I, I feel like they're doing a really good job with, um with these characters so far. They're they're making them feel like like real people with motivations. Um like Dragon it it's true, he's younger, so he doesn't really feel the implications of war because he never experienced it. Um and he's also very um very forward in his thinking and in his desire to prove himself. So I, I, I think he's an interesting character. And I would <coughs> like yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Oh, th there you go. Again, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit <laughs> tipsy. Perhaps I should <laughs> just lie. <It> tipsy. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> it would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition. Ever since we were little. Ambition. That's that's the right word for this. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and trueborn siblings. I agree, X. 
Dragan, Dragan's win in my heart. Y'all, both, both Dragan and Roland. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone that we must set our gazes to the future. You're practical. I know You're very practical. How I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Yeah, let us. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Mm -hmm. Of course, my... <sighs> Frederica. Pray call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not You're to so wake him. You're so awkward. Let's resume his prattle. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> oh, that that was cute. That was really nice. Oh, <sighs> Benedict backstory. Benedict, <coughs> I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her that Sarah Noah would soon be taking over as lord of our house? Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to. Hey, yo, Harlan. <laughs> Stop, that's, that's hitting a little too close to home, buddy. Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. Destra. As do I. For 30 years, you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. Ah, oh, stop it! Stop my lord, being sick! I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. And you'll listen to this, these strings right now. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Cause they have the the melody underneath in the in the cellos. Oh, that's beautiful. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. Oh no. Our Simon, he is broken. I will not I know let it's you down, Simon, but it, it sounds too close to Simon. Yeah, that that was a beautiful orchestration. I thought that was done really well. All right, check the map. Because I'm paranoid. <coughs> Simon gathers the members of House Wolford to announce his abdication. Mm -hmm. Oh, those My there are the scales. Sarah Noah will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simone. I'm a lord. 
our undying loyalty to House Wolfhood. My son, listen well. A lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Might grind the melt hard score attack since it is literally do the one hold switch and extend a hold at the end. Really? It's only two? Oh, that's that's not too bad then. You you could probably get it in one night, uh, Zelda fanboy. I believe in you. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolford, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. Already got 21st for English Future Tone by the second one. Nice, yeah! So you'll, you'll be fine. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales of conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that it was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Seven. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. Oh, okay, so we have seven tokens to give. To our most trusted allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects, and choose your steps carefully. X, you should choose your steps more carefully than to give such me three. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The House Warlord! Give all seven to Jody Corny. <laughs> what? Who that? And so the stewardship of House Wolffort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolffort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolffort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. Oh, I see. It's a British show. Killing Eve. Oh, interesting. So, is it is it like a thriller, like a thriller show? <laughs> Sir Lord Simon will oh, step you're down. The king guy. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. 
Very good. Gay spies! I'm hooked. That's it. That's all you had to say. Sarah Noah of House Wolfort. The crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. Mm? I dare you to say that again, Thalys. Oh? Must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Go push your papers in the shadows like the minor lordling son you are. Wow, you hoes! You would say me. You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. Dragan, you forget yourself. You both forget yourselves. Crimson. While I'm glad you're not feeling like ass, I do worry about about you, like, you know, relying on too much alcohol. Please make sure to drink water, okay? Frederica? If you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our nation. Such strong words, sister. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Woolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noah Woolfort. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. She always did have a way with men. You are such a bitch! Too bad you also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want a wretch. Yo, fuck you! I hate them! Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa. And forgive me if I was out of line. Those two, they were... <coughs> Frederica's sister and, and brother. Esfrost, full brother and sister to Archduke Gustadolf. And my half-siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. Damn. Yeah, no, I don't like them. I don't like them uh, one bit. Smithy is now available at the encampment. Ooh. Young Smithy, as blacksmith, <coughs> I have the privilege of looking after everyone's weapons. It's my honor to forge and repair whatever wool forts warriors require. Any blades that need tempering or bows that need priming, you need only say the word. You can upgrade your weapons and unlock weapon abilities. Both of these services require materials and coin. Each weapon has three ranks. Increasing a weapon's rank unlocks more powerful abilities for that weapon. You can acquire weapon abilities within the same rank in any order, but the later a skill is learned, the more materials it will require. If a weapon ability is connected to another with an arrow icon, then they must be acquired in order uh, for... In the order the arrow indicates. Okay, weapon abilities contained within a box marked with ore cannot be active at the same time. However, once you have acquired either one, both become available and you may switch between them at no cost. Interesting. <coughs> I wonder if you can switch weapons or classes. To mom. And yeah, they don't call me a MILF for nothing, Crimson. It's 
speaking of mom, Crimson X, thank you for paying your milk taxes. Uh, happened, don't worry, it's okay. I'm not at my limit, nor am I slipping solely into alcoholism because I make sure to stop before I'm drunk. I won't end up in Russia again. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not. Let's not end up in Russia. <coughs> of course, Crimson. Mm, increase weapon potency. Hmm. Clear skies, fire damage up. Um, I'd rather have the normal. Oh, I don't have fiber. Stone. Stone and iron. Iron and stone. So you're really the only one that I can even upgrade right now. Let's increase this, because I it doesn't look like it uses anything other than iron and money. Alright, we have 600. We have 8 HP recovery pellets. Um, doing okay on that front. Let's get two of these, um, and see if there's anything else we can upgrade. I don't think there is, but, um, yeah, no, we, we do not have enough. I need six iron, and I need 500, um, monies. feeling you did at some point, um, Crimson. Like, I think you told us that. Um, why do you have a... a little, like, symbol on you? The festivities begin under the vigilant eyes of each nation's dignitaries. That's, um... <laughs> ah! Genshin today? I'm so happy to see you. How are you? How, how have you been? <coughs> My days have been pretty good overall. Um, I just have this cough because I was I was sick for like um for like a week. <laughs> yeah, you guys, Jamba Juice here plays a lot of Genshin, also plays a lot of Project Sekai. They are fucking amazing at Project Sekai. Please go check them out if you are an enjoyer of such things. Um, yes, you were building something in your teapot for seven hours? Wait. Oh, right, Genshin has an area called the teapot. I understand. I, I thought you meant like a physical teapot that you were building something in it. <laughs> I was like, I was so confused for a solid like five seconds. <laughs> I was like, what do you what do you build in a teapot? <laughs> but no, then then I understood. <laughs> but yeah, Jamba. How how was your stream? Did you have fun building the stuff in the teapot? If it if it was like for seven hours, I assume that you were very entranced and very focused. I'm so happy to see you. We are playing um, this game called Triangle Strategy. Um, I've been really, really excited about it. It is a strategy role-playing game, and yeah, we're still towards the beginning of the game, so we're doing a lot of dialogue, learning a lot of backstory and stuff. I haven't really played consistently for months. <laughs> yeah, but still, I remember when I was um, going into like your streams and stuff that you were a really fucking good player. Um, you probably still are, even if you've fallen off of it. Gotta do a lot of glitches in order to make stuff look good. They're kind of hard to pull uh, off on PS4. Hmm. What? Um. Sorry. 
Sorry for yawning. I, I, I came home from work, um, and it's late. How do you do the glitches? Is it, like, in The Sims, where you, like, have to shift tab or, or do, like, a weird key combination to, um, turn it off of the grid? <laughs> My honored guests, I am pleased to announce that operations at the Grand Norzelian Mines have commenced in earnest. The Earth has yielded treasures more magnificent than even we had anticipated. May the mines endure for many years. It's a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzant's salt and capital, Esfrost's ingenuity, and Glenbrook's raw materials and manpower, our realm's future is bright indeed. <laughs> Gotta shake an item super hard, basically. And then eventually it lets you place it anywhere you want, including inside other items. It just gives up. It's like, okay, okay, enough shaking, I'll do what you want. A computer, you just shake the mouse, it's all I see. It is a partnership built on three pillars, each bearing equal weight. You have we to owe bully a debt the of items. gratitude for all who have supported this grand venture. <laughs> a particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear fruit. Yeah, this game is is great. I really like the um, the 2D, 3D kind of aspect with the sprites. Um, they have beautiful character portraits too. I wish they used them more in the dialogue instead of like just these text bubbles and the sprites. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, this is this is triangle strategy. Like this is this is the the cover art for it. It's a, it's a Square Enix game. And Very similar um, artistic style to um, Octopath Traveler. Valuable in forming this accord. May their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! 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 Lord Sarah Noah's smiling from ear to ear. Shame his parents couldn't be here to see this. Do not get too swept away in the moment, Eridor. We have a job to do here, and the day has only begun. Now that the formalities are done with, let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. So, this is the one they call the Dawn Spear. Glenbrook's fiercest warrior. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, let us be stifled by rigid formality no longer. There is a tourney to be had, after all. A much more entertaining event than my endless speeches. <laughs> here, 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 here. <laughs> Will any among you prove a match for our Sir Maxwell? the champion of our previous challenge. I very much look forward to finding out. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. And our wine. Very important. Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. Jeez, I, I can only imagine the off. panning of the camera on the PS4 is tough. Oh, no worries, Jamba. You you explained super well. I under I understood what you meant. But yeah, if you want to pass something along, that's cool. If if it spins the camera around a lot, though, I, I might get dizzy because I, I get motion sick easily. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh, Lord Wolfwart. Congratulations, my friend. Oh, Roland's calling us Lord. <laughs> Thank you. But living up to the title will be no easy task. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike 
to some of us. Damn. Uh, have more faith in yourself, my friend. You too shoulder the future of the kingdom after all. I think that would be what I would say. Um, there's no time for self-pity. A princess subjects mustn't hear him talking that way. Um, preparing for the tourney will take your mind off your worries. Um, I feel like the first one is the most, the most kind thing for him to hear right now. Because he... I, I want him to feel like he's important, yourself, my friend. but also that he's After valid all, in what he's saying. You shoulder the future of the kingdom. I wonder. I wonder if Lindbrook will truly flourish thanks to anything I do. Of course it will. It already has. Besides, House Wolfort is at your back. My apologies. And thank you. I shall strive to be worthy of your support. You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Yes, we are. Fast friends from the day we met. And you are? Apologies for not introducing you sooner. This is Huet of the Kingsguard. I am tasked with keeping his highness safe, though he often seems to resent it. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfort. Good to meet ah, you too. Prince Roland has told me much about you. I can see he is in good hands. I shall see that it is so, my lord. Now, let us begin our preparations. Today we take the field. And today... Today, we claim victory. Roland and Hewitt joined your forces. <laughs> They're part of our squad now. <coughs> Gonna relax and watch the game. Really, really like the art style. Yeah! I'm, I'm glad, Jalama. Please take the time to do some post-stream self-care, especially if you've been like working on stuff for seven hours. Drink some water, get some rest. We will be here, don't worry. A woman in the King's, Dar in the King's Guard, we love. Yeah, I love to see it. Oh no, not low battery. <laughs> okay, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. A melee warrior with range strikes foes two squares in front of him with his spear. His steed grants him exceptional mobility. <coughs> oh, you are our archer! Awesome! Okay, I've been waiting for my for my archer character. Rains arrows down on foes from the back of a hawk. Easily traverses terrain with large elevation changes. The higher the ground, the greater her range. Ooh, okay, very interesting. Yes, please, Jamba. Do do some stretches. Some some big stretch. Some water. I'd best greet our guests. It would also give me a chance to take the measure of my soon-to-be opponents. S sleep recovery pellets. <coughs> Stories of Mr. Exarm's skill have reached even the lips of my servants. I very much look forward to learning the truth of these tales. My lord, before the tourney begins, I would like to ask you a single question. To what end do you believe this contest is being held? In times of peace, there are precious few chances to display martial prowess. I mean to remind people of House Wolfort's legacy. It may be, uh, appear to be mere entertainment, but reputations are at stake. If we show weakness, then it will be noted by all in attendance. It's a chance for three nations to gather and celebrate. Though the battles may be bloodless, victory is sweet all the same. Um, I truly think that this is what a lot of people are thinking. Um... That reputations are at stake but I think because we're in peace time this is more important to think <coughs> I've also made fireworks today gonna go light them tomorrow found 
uh, found the copper for nice blue flowers. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I, I, <coughs> I don't really know what goes into making fireworks, but you are the resident mad scientist after all. Just make sure that you uh, do so safely. <coughs> Very good, my lord. Although the weapons will be blunted, there will be victors and vanquished all the same. The attendees will be curious to see a new lord's talent. Does he possess the ferocity of his forebears? The answer to that question shall be determined soon and shall ring far into the future. Um, keep talking to people. You must be Lord Wolfort. I am Patriate, Patriarch of House Consar. By King Regna's grace, we were chosen above all others to attend this momentum, this momentous ceremony. Tis an honor, truly. All we have, we owe to our king. Let us continue to serve him as well we can. Minister's aid. Today I fight by Sir Maxwell's side in the tourney. I could not envision a greater honor than this. May we cross swords, Lord Serenoa, and may the fight be one to remember. Let us hope this tourney brings the same thrills as last year's. I won't soon forget the final bout between Lord Simon and the Dawnspear. Aye, t'was a match for the histories. Tis a shame Lord Simon won't be here to have another go at it. His son is representing House Wolfort this year, I hear. I don't reckon one so green can stand against the likes of the Dawn Spear, but I've seen stranger things. Seventy-five salt, Peter. Ten percent charcoal. Ten, uh, fifteen percent sulfur for the black powder to generate the bang. Copper for the color, and a mixture of stump remover and powdered sugar for the propellant. Pay litter to make blasting caps and PVC pipes for the container. Wow. Um. I did not know any of that. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning new things every day. <laughs> I hear the Dawn Spear is returning to defend the title he won at the previous tourney. Let's hope he hasn't been resting on his laurels. Soon you will lead your first foray into battle and Lord and Lady Frederica and I shall experience true combat for the first time. Do you have a stratagem in mind for the tourney? You handled yourselves admirably when the bandits attacked. I expect your magic will be key to our victory. I am a big fan of magic users, so that's not too far off. Our house fights with honor. There shall be no tricks, but we will offer our opponents no quarter. I'm not I'm not that kind of person. I will I will use tricks. But also not whatever it takes. I, I think the magic being a key to victory is a, is a good a good thing. Is that so, my lord? To tell the truth, I hadn't anticipated such a response, but thank you for the flattery, nonetheless. I was being sincere. I have faith in all my allies, else we would not be fighting together. Your honesty is refreshing indeed. I am not so nervous as I was a moment before. I shall do my best to answer your every expectation. Lady Frederica and I shall prove ourselves worthy to fight alongside you. Uh, Thallus and Erica. I wonder if those two would deign to participate in the tourney. With a wedding on the horizon, I imagine time must be a precious resource for you. Your life is on the cusp of great change, my young lord. Still, I pray you remain a faithful friend to my brother. He has his foibles but I care for him all the same. That is not what I saw in the other story. You're joining the tourney with my brother, aren't you? 
Sir Maxwell has trained with him since he was little. Roland could barely stand after they sparred. But he even walks like the Dawnspear now. I am so proud to have him as my brother. Um, my apologies. Franny is always saying I let my emotions get the better of me. Please keep my brother safe, will you? Is it true that General Avlora will be taking the field in the tourney? The right hand of the Archduke, rivaled only by her lord and ferocity, I doubt she judges a friendly competition to be worthy of her abilities. Still, if she lives up to her reputation, then she wouldn't have to try hard to prove a match for even the mightiest warrior. Silvio. Lord Saranoa, congratulations on your recent appointment. The news of Lord Simon's abdication was sudden, to be sure, but all lords must give up their position in time. Still, I am certain having that immense responsibility thrust upon you at such a young age must be tiring indeed. If you ever require counsel, or simply a sympathetic ear to bend, do not hesitate to call upon House Tellior. Don't grow, O leader. Poison will get into the honey and you will die after bombing blood for hours. Oh my god! Oleander? Oleander. I I will have to look that up. Um, I assume that's a type of plant, but yeah. Crimson really do just be just be given all the science. <laughs> I've trained the prince since he was scarcely old enough to hold a spear. I have a great interest in seeing his performance in the tourney. I would wish you good luck, but I would rather your skill carry you to victory. You carry your father's legacy on your shoulders, young lord. Eager am I to see how it fits you. Your first tourney as lord of your house, eh? I knew the day would come, but it still brings tears to my eyes to see it. Always remember that Benedict and I are at your back, my lord. Come to us for whatever you need. That includes the tourney. You need someone in the dirt, my lord? I'm your man. Let's show them what stuff House Woolfort is made of. Lord Saranoa. Benedict has been looking for you, uh, but it seems you've already spoken. I've never seen a woman, or a man for that matter, quite like Minister Lila. Beautiful, elegant, and brilliant. What I wouldn't give to serve under someone like her. Word has it her new assistant is a strapping young researcher, said to be well-versed in ice magic. Ah. I knew I should have spent more time at my books instead of in the training yard. I'd very much like to see the skill of Minister Lila's new assistant for myself. Perhaps I will, and sooner rather than later. As the game progresses, you can uncover information that will unlock additional responses in future conversations. You may view the knowledge you've amassed thus far by selecting War Chronicle information from the main menu. I hear the Bloody Shield himself will be fighting on behalf of Asfrost during Ace Frost during this year's tourney. He's a captain of the Duchy's elite hawk riders and a fierce hawk shield himself. I look forward to seeing the man in action. I passed a group of soldiers clad in black armor on the way here. Are those Ace Frost's storied black irons? I mean to question any Ace Frosty I can about the Archives. It is said that within the Archives, countless tomes lies the answer to any and all questions that have ever been asked. You only need seek them out. A house of boundless knowledge, that's certainly something I'd like to see with my own eyes. The Archives, I learned about them. You're from House Woolfort, yes? Your reputation is formidable to be sure, but Ace Frost's military is second to none. Day and night we train, and I dare say even our rank and file would be a match for any army's elite troops. 
Why, just the other day, we managed to capture a particularly dangerous smuggler. He was swift as a horse and as deadly with a bow as any man alive. I even broke a bone in the process. His skill would have doubtless made him a capable soldier. It's a wonder what desperate paths our choices send us down. The captured smuggler. We're learning a lot of stuff. No, Crimson, you're lying. April is so sad. <coughs> Harlan, Harlan, I'm warning you now. Your Lion April is sad. It, it's a, it's a sad anime. Um, it's beautiful. It's it's really great, but it's sad. What what kind of shows do you like? You you mentioned spies and espionage. You should watch Spy X Family. It's it's a new show. It's ongoing, and it's really good. Hey, Roran, welcome back. Thank you so much for lurking. How's your day going? The soldiers here are obedient, I'll give them that. I can't say the name for Ace Frost's army can't say the same. For better or worse, in Ace Frost, we value freedom over all else. Those with the drive to succeed naturally rise to the top. Though your kingdom's lords and ladies might view us as a rabble of ambitious upstarts, we aren't beholden by tradition in Ace Frost. If you've ever any interest in seeing what true freedom looks like, you're welcome anytime. A country where one is judged by ability and not birth. It certainly has produced some formidable personages. I shall have to visit whenever time allows. Yeah, not like you fucking bozos. Ah, Serano Wolfort, how good to see you again so soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Thallus Ace Frost, at your service. I suppose soon I shall be calling you my brother-in-law. This is quite the castle you have, full of history and great deeds. I hope that one day, fate sees it fit to deliver me one so grand. I suppose we haven't formally met yet. I'm Erica Ace Frost. Yes, Frederica is my sister, although I hardly think of her as such. This country is old, for lack of a better word. I'm certain it will fit her sensibilities perfectly. You are such a bitch. You know, Roran, I think you're right. Also, thank you for the milk tax and crimson. Thank you for my posture. If you want another sad one, given is also very sad. Other than eventful things at work, it's been a while. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that things have been good. Yeah, you know, I am. I wasn't planning on streaming today, but work today went a certain way. I just, I, I wanted a distraction. I wanted to play video games and just like not think about it. So here I am, here we are together, listening to all this story and absolutely no combat because it's an RPG. Crimson, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. Um, Ligma is not a Greek letter. Because yeah, you have Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi. There's no Ligma. It's not IFC affiliated. <clears throat> um, this is a fake sorority crimson. They're not, um, 
They're not af affiliated with anything official. Yeah, sure, if you want to make fun of sororities. I am in three of them. And, yeah. No, Kappa, Kappa is a, um, is a Greek letter. That's an actual Greek letter. Crimson, it's, it's not an officially recognized one. Predictable match with a predictable outcome. You are very confident, aren't you? Oh! A dancer. I understand your medal shall be on display at the tourney, my lord. May I leave an impression on... May it leave an impression on all in attendance. I just wanted to see your face. Hey, we found some money! Okay, roll on. May you go back to Lurk and not look at blue light for a bit, head hurt. Yeah, please, Roran, get some rest. I'm, I'm not going to be streaming for too, um, too much longer because it is almost midnight. Please get some rest, okay? With you by my side, friend, I feel we could take on the entire realm. I dare say we may even give the Dawn Spear his first taste of defeat. It is an honor to be allowed to fight by House Wolford's side. I shall do my utmost to bring honor to you on the battlefield. Cat. Yeah. Alright, so we have gone here. Talked with everyone there. I don't think I've talked with you yet. You are the new Lord of House Wolfort. <laughs> yes? I have seen you from afar, but I believe this is the first time I've had the pleasure of speaking with you. <coughs> Ow. Even now, the common folks sing of your house's bravery during the Salt Iron War. However, I specifically. I suspect I shan't be long, it shan't be long before they sing of House Marcial's deeds instead. I look forward to seeing you at the tourney, Lord Saranoa. Congratulations on your recent appointment as Lord. I am sure the entire realm will celebrate the occasion. Lord, Simon has ever been a dear friend to us. Pray do not hesitate to come to us in times of need. Sorsley. I am Sorsley End. Sore end, huh? Your pinhead looking ass head. But I am sure you know that. I have the honor of being one of the saintly seven. The duties of a young lordling are many, but I trust you are more than capable. May this mind bring prosperity to us all. Such a massive endeavor is bound to be fraught with danger. If you or yours ever require medical treatment, pay visit to the Ministry of Medicine. We are blessed with the finest medical minds in Norzelia, but our facilities aren't open to just anyone. Mention my name, however, and every service shall be at your disposal. I've heard tell of the Ministry. It is said that even the grievous wounds can be treated there. I'd very much like to see how such miracles are performed. Okay. 
I think this is the, the last person that we haven't talked to. Ah, young Lord Woolfort. Thank you for the honor of including me among such esteemed company. Each face I see is more impressive than the last. Even members of the Saintly Seven have deigned to step foot upon our shores. Of course, I have had many dealings with Hyzant in the past. I am taken to understand all are equal in the eyes of their goddess, and even those not of noble birth can achieve prestigious stations. I intend to use this opportunity to avail myself of this famed equality, and perhaps win the ear of a saint in the process. A country where station is decided not by birth, I was not aware Hyzant's goddess was so equitable in her judgment. I would very much like to make time to visit. I think that's everyone. I think I think we've talked with uh, with everyone. <coughs> Let's go ahead and save. The tourney will begin soon. I'd best head back. Battle! Hi, Milky! How are you? How's your night going, hun? The tournament begins with Serenora representing the Kingdom of Glenbrook. Let's make it happen, Captain. The combatants have arrived, and the stage has been set. Let us introduce the champions who will fight for the glory of their nations. Oh, you're back at work? Aww. Milky, how are, how are you feeling? Are you are you transitioning back into work mode alright? I know when I was sick for like a week and I went back for my first day of work, I was just like dying. Fighting for the honor of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, General Avlora. Fighting for the honor of the Holy State of Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. Fighting for the honor of the Kingdom <coughs> of Glenbrook, House Wolfort! And last but not least, the victor of our previous tourney, Sir Maxwell the Donspear! Hurrah! Hurrah! The Wolfort Lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. Lord Simon's heroics on the battlefield are the stuff of legend. A pity I couldn't match swords with him today. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. You have his spirit, if nothing else. Indeed. I look forward to crossing swords with you. The combatants have assembled. Now, let the battles begin! Good enough, mostly just the stuff he knows. I'll uh, take a bit of extra time off to doubly make sure I was okay. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you did that. I'm glad that, you know, that you're good enough and it's just the stuff he knows, but I wish you a speedy recovery and much love. I shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lots. Minister Exham and Lord Walford make ready for combat. Mm. Okay. Oh, we have like a f our full team. During battle preparation, you can survey the battlefield, place units, and even return to the encampment. Decimate the enemy forces, lose all allied forces. Clear and breezy. Um, let's go to the encampment, see um, if there's anything that I can do here for us. Oh, 
I need stone. And 500. I don't think I have enough money. Un unless I can sell something. Yeah, I don't have anything I can really readily sell or anything that I'd be willing to sell right now. Fiber and timber, I can't do anything with you. I need stone for you. I also need stone for you. I can do some stuff with you! Alright, um... HP, defense... Increase your luck at max. Uh, let's just do this. I feel like more weapon damage is a good way to, to go. Still better now, still a bit sick. Um, I feel fine. I feel a little bit of a headache, but I think that's just from the stress of the work day. Um, other than that, I, it's just the cough that still won't go away. Um, it's still there. It's not as bad as yesterday, I don't think, but it, it's still there. Okay, this is Minister Lila of the Saintly Seven. Employs a handsome ice mage as a research assistant. Okay. I think we're ready for, for this battle. Let's um just double check our placement. <coughs> You can change the initial placement of your units before battle begins. Select the unit you want to move with the A button. Move to the square you wish to place. Um, then press the A button once more. If the square you've already selected has a unit on it, the units will swap. Okay. Having those two in the back is fine. I think I'd rather have you... I'd rather have you there. And then you... You know what, Anna? I think I'd rather have you there. Or Hiwa, I'd rather have you there. I think, I think we're ready. Commence the battle. <coughs> the Tony. <laughs> Be gentle, my lords. I'm not as strapping as once I was. I expect no quarter from you, Prince Roland, nor from you, Lord Serenoa. Show us the swordplay your house is so famous for. They're two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. For honor and glory! Your orders? I see. So you are in range. You can do two actions, though. Have him come to us. Charge! Let's have you there. Weaknesses? Uh... Oh, you're weak against you! Okay! I 
I like that. I like that it says the weaknesses. Realize the <coughs> between our skills. Here I come. You are a bow user. Gonna end your turn there. Defeat is not an option. I shall try my level best. Okay, so you... I think you're gonna go there, but you're gonna go ahead and do the Raging I have your thing with Roland. I shall do my best. I've been waiting for this. Hmm. You know, I might need you to move Show fast, so I think this me. is fine. Iron deficiency is <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, face forward. Nice try! Ha! Miss. <coughs> How shall I destroy you? Shall we begin? Be at ease. This will help. Yeah, just get geared. One step closer. And get a level up there. Allow me. In me. Yeah, bop them. Good, good, good. And turn there. Time to work. Charge. You don't stand a chance. Nice, 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 good. Shall we begin? <coughs> Your life blood will paint my soul. Mmm, I don't like that. Don't like that. From us. All right, first person defeated. That's good. Oh, oh, that's right. You're weak against other spearmen. Wait your turn, you brute. That hit the mark. Certain maneuvers will award you kudos, um, which can be traded for valuable items at the encampment sundry shop. The sundry shop is not available in the early stages of the store. Hmm. Interesting. Aw, uh, you picked up the fucking item. I see a path to victory. You've left yourself open. Haha! <laughs> Maybe next time. Ha, ah, get missed! So battle, I suppose. I fight for peace. With the power. All right, grab all three of these. Come at me. I think probably provoke. I'll be your shield. <coughs> Status changes are denoted with an icon and turn counter. One turn will be deducted from the counter when the afflicted unit turns awry. I don't think I understand this one. Uh, okay, so these are statuses. <coughs> Status effects. Poison deals damage at the start of the turn. Paralysis prevents unit from taking actions. Prevents from moving. 
prevents from taking actions using abilities. Uh, Fury, instant death kills the unit instantly. Auto revive. Uh, regen, invincibility. Take cover. Fire counter, ice counter. Act again, stop, protect, absorption, delayed damage, extended range, and protect for us. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. Yeah, we, we need to, him, worry. Uh, to be healed. Good. I will end this. Allow me. My turn. Brace yourself, you brute. Yes, you're open. Uh, goddess, I thank you for your blessing <coughs> this day. A worthy foe is a glorious gift indeed. You find the goddess in odd places, Exam. This trifling tourney will bring Hyzant neither riches nor glory. The goddess works in myriad ways, Minister Sorsley. You would do well to keep your eyes attuned. Here I come. I think I should focus on these. From this range. Good crit, good crit. For the honor of House Wolfort. Yeah, let's buff you. My skeleton is superior. And then I think we need to go up here. Got some buffs in there. Let me show you what I've learned. All right, we'll just go right in front of you. I struck true. That seemed to work. Cool heads shall prevail. All right, and you need to. Really, I need to heal him. You're him? Allow me. I was prepared for this. And give you an HP recovery pellet. I'll take this. <coughs> you to end your turn. My turn. Lance, you. I asked for no quarter. You did not disappoint. Perhaps one day we can fight as allies. Minister Sorsley, I leave the rest in your capable hands. This can't be the worst nice try. Ah, you missed. Time to take flight. My strategy is just as I planned. Tomorrow is a new Ooh, day. learn bulwark. Forward. Okay, not move. 
move there. On your guard. That hit the mark. I struck true. Backstab, not the backstab. Maybe next. Ah, time. you missed, you piece of shit. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, we're okay. <laughs> see a path to we are, we are oh, okay. You were overconfident. You've left yourself open. I've gained new strength. It's a battle, I suppose. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, we're okay. Let me show you what I've learned. <coughs> Heed my call. We will make our ideals reality. Shall we begin? Kill him, please. This will help. Is that all you got? Now or never. Time to work. All right, bop him. This will prove you. Ooh, throw poison. That's nice. Let's see if the poison will uh, affect him more. I won't lose. Yes, you've left yourself open. For my kingdom. Nice, nice, nice. The hunt is on. You'll get no mercy from us. Let's see if blindness, good, that is what I wanted. This is not an option. Wait your turn. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Bop em, bop em. Hey. Let me show you what I've learned. All right, then you need to move forward. Just hit him with the book. I shall do what I can. Be at ease. I needed that. Time to work. This will hurt. <gasps> good crit, good crit. Nice and nice. Um, I'm pretty sure poison will take care of you. Um, or I could poison you twice. Suffer. <coughs> Enjoy work, Milky. <laughs> Thank you for the sh for that. I appreciate you. Come at me. I might as well. Show me what you're made of. Ah. My turn. Be gone. We did it. That was really close for a second. Um, if the AI had attacked Sarah Noah, <laughs> uh, that would have been that would have been bad. Hi, Milky. Mm. It's actually perfect timing, it's midnight.
To think they'd get the better of us. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. Victory goes to House Wolford! Our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. Oh. May glory go to the victor. Ablora and Maxwell. That was supposed to be the main event. Stand back. <coughs> this one is mine. <laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. She got a big sword! Whoever taught you, they taught you well. Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. Laura yielded. Victory goes to Sir Maxwell. Huh. Interesting. My hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> so that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. Oh. Interesting. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. All right. Are we not? I guess we're not fighting. We were defeated. Huh? Where am I? We were defeated. We didn't even get a chance. We didn't even get a chance. <laughs> Ah, you're awake. And none the worse for wear, considering oh. the blow you took from Sir Maxwell. Uh, he was too strong for us in the end. Today, yes. But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. Let us work hard for that day, my friend. I think perhaps my battery is depleted. Yes. Who needs the left joystick? We were able to save. <laughs> Hi, Midnight Fire. How you doing? <laughs> I have a little bit of a cough. Um, but also, this is probably the best time to stop. Midnight. You came, as your name implied, at midnight. But I must go to sleep. I've had a very long week. <laughs> and this was one I wanted to stop. <coughs> but. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Um, thanks for spending time with me today. Um, every time. I know. It happens every time. Still, I'm really happy to see you, Midnight. I am. And it was really nice to see you. Thanks for stopping up. Um, <coughs> let's see who's, who's online. Do we have any, <coughs> any friends, any friendos? Let's see. Mixby's on, but we raided him yesterday. Rico's on. Oh, but Colfang is also on. <coughs> you know what? <coughs> Let's go say hi to Cole Fangy. Um, Cole Fangy is actually someone that I know in real life. Um, she's playing Persona 5 Royale right now. I will not be staying very long because spoilers and I don't want to spoil the game for myself. But yeah, Claudia, you came at the end. I'm sorry. I love you. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. 
<laughs> it's midnight. <coughs> I know sometimes like I, I go later, but I need to sleep and also I have a little bit of headache. Send grad pics. Yes, please, Gladdy. Send them. Send them on the Discord. Congrats. Congrats on your graduation. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Um, we're gonna go raid cool thingy. Uh-huh. Oh, and there goes uh there goes my other Joy-Con. <laughs> so if you'd like to copy paste little message, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Um, they're a really great friend of mine that I know personally. Um, they are another musician and they're playing Persona 5 Royale right now. So please give them some love, them some clam slamming, I don't know, whatever. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna, the plan is to do a little bit of art and then a little bit of triangle strategy towards the end of the day. Um, we'll see how long really the streams go. Um, will probably depend on how my throat's feeling, to be honest. Because <laughs> a lot of this talking kind of took it out of me a little bit. Um, I love you guys. Hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye.